Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from Dean. I would really like to install your mission slash pet campaign so I can practice what you taught, but unfortunately I can't figure out how to do that in Steam DCS. My son and I play DCS and really would like to fly your missions that you teach and load on YouTube. You have a lot of great content, but newbies like us aren't taking advantage of those YouTube mission files because we don't know how to install them or run them. Yeah, fair point. Maybe a training video on this would help lots of newbies make your content even more usable. Thanks for helping us learn DTS. I hope you're doing well following your medical challenges. Uh, look forward to many years viewing DTS. Stay healthy, my friend. Sounds like a really nice guy, Dean. Really good point. So, uh, well, there's two points I want to make here. First of all, we don't share all of our missions and campaigns. And we used to several years ago. The reason I had to stop was um, not anything malicious at all. But the problem was, I, we used to share all of our missions and stuff, and you guys da used to download them, and that was fantastic, and used to run them. But I got so many follow-up questions about um, the, about these missions. Oh, how do I use this mission? How, where does this guy spawn? Why have you done this like this? I got maybe 100 messages a day that you guys were sending me about missions, and I had to stop. It became a full-time job just letting you download the missions. And so I no longer share missions and campaigns. I've got no... The, the, there's nothing I can do about it. It's right to stop. I do share some missions that are really useful, though. So, for instance, if I do a video on a, um, I don't know, an F-18 Hornet uh, using his BVR radar, and I'll go and show a 20-minute video of me doing it in YouTube, and then in the video description, I'll link. I'll, well, I'll just go and show you, shall I? So, let's go and show you. So, uh, if I go to YouTube, I'll just try and find an example of what I'm trying to say. Hornet uh, data link. Let's try. Let's see if that comes up with one. Okay, let's go into that there. So I've gone into the video details of this video here, the FA18 SA page data link and IFF, which is a very complex thing to learn. And this is just an example. I've gone into the mission description, video description here, and you can see mission, and I've got a mission there. So let's see what happens when I put that into a browser. Because this is my G drive, it might look slightly different to you guys, but. No, it looks fine. So it comes up with the F18 data link dot Miz, okay? And um, I'm going to download it. Your screen should look the same, okay? And it's uh, it's downloading it down there. It, ha it hasn't asked me where to download it. It'll just chuck it in my standard downloads folder. Okay, I think that's downloaded. I'm just going to shut all this down for the time being. Next, I'm going to show you where to install it. So if I grab that, I go to downloads. It'll always be in your downloads unless you specifically tell it to download somewhere else. So I'm going to go downloads there. And there it is, fa 18 hornet data link I'm going to right click and copy that. You could cut it, but I'm going to copy it in this case just to make sure. Next, you have to locate where your saved games folder is. Usually, I mean, you can choose where that is. If you haven't shown us exactly where that is, that will usually be on your C drive. So I'm going to go C drive. That will usually be under users in C drive there. That will usually be under your name. That's my name there. It will usually then be within saved games there. And then um, it will be DCS or DCS open beta under there. Now I've moved mine. And if you want to move your saved games, then there is, I have a video also showing how to do that. Uh, because I ran out of disk space on C drive, okay? So for me, this will be different for you, but for me, I've moved it to my Steam drive, and it is DCS World. Oh, sorry, so it's saved games there. It's then DCS. It's then uh, Missions, and it's in here. I'm going to plonk it in here, so I'm going to right-click, paste, okay? I've already got it in there because it's my mission, so it's already there. So usually, you just go ahead and it will do that, but I'm not going to copy it over it just in case. Okay, that's there. That's then the mission saved in your missions area. Before I go run in, go into DCS and show you actually how you load it, just out of interest, if you wanted to download one from, say, um, uh, Eagle Dynamics, so go to Eagle Dynamics. Okay, there. Go download uh, user files, file type, single mission, multiplayer mission. Let's just go on single mission that most of you guys will have. Game. Which version do you want? Well, it's going to be 2.5, obviously. Language, just leave it. Uh, unit, doesn't matter. Age, doesn't matter. So let's uh, send that. And here you've got missions in date order. So the most recent one is Lost Jug by the Highwayman. 
and you're probably going to have thousands and thousands of missions to go through. It's going to tell you about them um, and then to download them, you can click download there and it's going to do a very similar thing to what we just went through. How you want to filter those um, to actually find what you're after, you can do that I believe by going to unit, we'll just try this, I just want an A10C mission, filter, and then you've just got East NC missions, or you can put it just in English or Chinese or whatever. Okay, uh, so that's that. Next, I'll show you the last bit of it is how to actually play the mission, whether uh, it's multiplayer or single player. So I'm going to go beta, that's where I'm going to be based on. Okay, we're in DCS open beta now, and I'm going to go to mission, and I, this will load up my missions. Now, I just want to make sure it's in the right air, searching the right area, because it might not be in the right area as default. That's a thing that can happen. So I'm going to go out here. I'm going to go out here, and I where is it? It's in my uh, saved games area. So it is in my saved games area, and I can just prove that by going out there, saved games. So you may need to find this area on your C drive. Save games, DCS, uh, missions, <laughs> and obviously I've got thousands of missions, so it's going to be quite hard for us to uh, to find it. I've got no real shortcut of finding it, but let's see if we can... F18, what I've called it. Uh, there it is. F18, Hornet data link. Uh, that's how it finds that file. Click OK. That's that. For multiplayer, you would have to go to multiplayer. You would have to cr uh, create a new server. And I've got a different video, obviously, showing how to do that, but you would load the file just the same way. So that's a quick video of showing how to download mission files from me or from the main Eagle Dynamics website, where to put it and how to load it up from DTS. I hope that was useful and see you later.